What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Saw X. We'll be talking about Scream 7, basically a Cliff Notes version of my earlier video from the day. We'll be talking about The Exorcist Believer and we'll be talking about Chucky Season 3. Now starting off with Saw X. Saw X has officially been rated R. Not that it was expected to hit anything else below that, but it's been rated R for sequences of grisly bloody violence and torture, language and some drug use. We also got a new look at Paulette Hernandez's character crying in her trap. And keep in mind, I've touched on this fact in the uh, trailer and TV spots. If examined close enough, it does seem to confirm what her character's fate will be in the upcoming sick game that John has planned for these frauds out in uh, New Mexico. Or not New Mexico, in, in Mexico, I should say. Director Kevin Gruder also had this to say about the film recently when speaking to Empire Magazine. Kramer is the center of the story. And he said that Saw X will feature John Kramer more than any other Saw. Saw X is an emotional journey that you go on with John Kramer and less a slaughterhouse that you experience from the point of view of the victims. Obviously, there will be people that can't handle it, but I think... There will be people that can't handle it, but I think it has a good chance of appealing to people beyond gore freaks. Now, again, I do want to add this. A lot of this story is expected to be from John's POV, as we've been told. So chances are we'll get a better understanding of him because of this narrative decision. So for those of you who have been looking forward to seeing what I guess you could argue is closely the like a jigsaw too, I think actually the rating that saw x just got being rated r i think one of the alternative titles that it has listed is calling this movie jigsaw 2 which in a lot of way does make sense considering that this is going to be a very kramer a kramer centric and driven narrative from his perspective as opposed to the victim's perspective so you guys let me know what you thought about the new image down in the comment section below what do you think about john john's not john's but kevin's comments on the film down below dump jumping into uh Scream 7. So here's my Cliff Notes version of my Scream 7 video from earlier today. So after sitting on this for a while, I decided to discuss more of what I've heard about Scream 7 since more reputable folks beyond myself have heard this same thing and just are not talking about it due to the strikes. You're just not hearing about it for those very reasons. Now, Neff Campbell negotiated her return as Sydney Prescott prior to these ongoing strikes. She either secured the deal or didn't because of the looming strike. I was told that she didn't sign on, but that could have changed. But most importantly, at least we know that she has one foot in the door, at least. Now, here's the thing. One rumor that I haven't really had too much to let me say, OK, I believe it. But Fandom Empire, shout out to this channel, Fandom Empire. They had also been hearing that Radio Silence would be not directing, but they would be producing. And they also heard a third part of their rumor. So two thirds of their rumor came true. The third part of the rumor that they had was that Scream 7 would be a Sydney centric story. Now, I would prefer this be done with a balance between Sid and Sam coexisting somehow and having their own arcs versus Sydney taking over completely and having Sam in the core four and whoever else decides to come back as supporting roles in what is essentially just all Sydney in every which way. I just think you should find that balance similar to how shout out to you, Ryan. You did point this out, Ryan, with your uh, screen podcast, Ryan Showers. For those of you who are not familiar, check out his podcast. Amazing podcast. But Ryan pointed out that they have been able to find this balance between Sydney and Gail in a lot of the past sequels. So they can do it with Sam and Sydney. I see no reason why you can't do it uh, if you're competent enough to do it, I would say. But diving into the Exodus Believer. A new image from David Gordon Green's The Exorcist Believer came out from Empire Magazine today. He said this as well about the film. He said the Halloween franchise, the Halloween movies are in the slasher genre. They're, they're a place to play and maybe have some campy fun. But this one was more research and a bit academic. The narrative we were sculpting and the relationships we were, were more dramatic. It's a very different approach. We're talking about the horror genre, but my main ambition was to preserve the dramatic integrity and not lean into what's evolved within the genre as a result of the original film. Now, I mean, a lot of people, me being one of them, would argue that what we've seen just seems like a modern exorcist movie with all the generic things we've seen from exorcist movies that want to be the exorcist. 
but now this one is just attached to the legendary IP to help boost his box office. The new image that came across your screen earlier of Ann Down or Ann Dowd, the girls and men from what I can only assume is the church looks like it's from a sitcom, if I'm being quite honest. But execution, again, like I've stated, is everything. For anyone interested in reading an alleged plot leak, a more updated plot leak, allegedly, I'll leave a link to that in the description. But I will say this. This plot leak contradicts the newly released image and other aspects of what I've been told plot wise that happened to be backed up by the recent released image from Empire Magazine. So this plot leak can be real, but also could be from an earlier screening or it could be complete BS. But if it's from a recent screening, then the movie is marketing itself with scenes and images that likely are not going to be present in the final cut. And if this plot leak that you decide to read, because I'm not going to specifically outright talk about it, but if you decide to read what I'm going to link in the description, if this ends up being true, I will share with you what they changed and give context on that image of Anne that was released today from Empire Magazine, if that's not in the movie. Because if they are utilizing things that was cut from previous test screenings, I mean, it's a brilliant way to misdirect your audience. But at the same time, you could you could be in for probably a worse reception than initially thought depending on what you guys think about this plot leak again i'll link it in the description jumping into chucky season three chucky season three has to have a trailer dropping soon it would seem or maybe something else but i'm gonna assume it's a trailer because this little idiot chucky that bean put out this post on twitter saying the only thing scarier than red receipts is me a video over on tiktok had this clown typing a note that said my fellow assholes major campaign reveal coming soon so text me at 201-500-3347 now to join the chucky party it doesn't sound like a bad political party at all i mean the leader is a murderer so everything's cool and fine with us now if you already texted this number you won't get anything out of him right now but newbies who did not text it last time did get something saying i got something coming for you soon or something along those lines Here's the thing. It's the end of the day, Chuck, and nothing dropped. In fairness, he didn't say it would be today. He just said soon. But I take it soon could be tomorrow at this point, Friday. But I'm hoping at least it's something this week and not something next week. We need that trailer. We're only getting four episodes. That was also confirmed this week. Uh, we're going to get four episodes only. I'll leave a link to that confirmation in the description for those of you who want to check it out. Chucky season three will only be four episodes. It's confirmed. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications and this video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. So let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.